morning to you. And peace be unto you, to your household, your family, all realities of what you and I live in and face every day. We are real people in a real world, and we have a God that is a spirit that we've not seen. No man have ever seen him. So we serve an invisible God that is awesome, powerful, and we're here today in the stead of his word. We're here to grow, to learn, and to be educated in the knowledge of the truth. My job and position is to teach and to educate and to herald his word in a way that you and I can grab with the mind, the eternal mind, the soul and spirit, in which we will live forever in the place that the Father is bidding us to come to. And that's a place in eternity of life in a new heaven and a new earth. So today I want to take this time to teach. This is a teaching moment, a teaching word. And when you teach, it's detailed. So there's scriptures and things that you're going to need to note, um, and you're going to need to study it for yourself, because I want you to study the Bible. It's going to do you good. It's going to help you to grow and develop into a perfect man, a sound, healthy you in Christ. And so, and I know that when, when we're preaching, you take a snippet of something, and you go forward with a lot of strength. This is not that. This is a tutelage teaching to give you the knowledge that you'll be edified so you can walk out of here and discern your home, your land, your territory, your region in which you live in. We live in a region, and there's a territorial spirit in this region that has an assignment over every region in the earth realm. So this knowledge is going to be good for us to know and discern what's going on in our region, in our towns, in our cities, as well as in our home and which we are living in. So behaviors and lifestyles and conduct, uh, as we learned about this red horse today, we talked about the white horse, and I pray you can value this horse and understand that this horse and his rider, his bow, his crown, his rank, and his position, because he's riding to bring forth a victory and put in to things that is against God and against the people of God. We will gaze upon the white horse a little bit, keep him connected, because that's the horse that I want you to understand have come to end death. He come in to end the works of Satan by grabbing him at the end, chapter Revelation 20, him and his false prophets and false teachers, and casting them into the lake of fire. Now, the white horse rider is Christ. The red horse has a rider also. The white horse Rider has an assignment or a mission or a duty or a task. He's not riding just to be riding. They take position. The white horse takes position. The red horse takes position. The, the red horse has a mission. The red, red horse has a duty or a task. And when he moves into an area, and even personally, when I look about in your standing place, where you stand at every day, you work at every day, it's going to be important that you discern what's going on in your standing place. Amen? In your workplace, in your dwelling place, in your home, I want you to be able to discern what's going on in my standing place, what's going on in my region or territory in which I live in. Okay? And you're going to always see different activities at different times. So this red horse has an assignment. The black horse has an assignment. And the pale horse has an assignment, okay? So Revelation chapter 6, would you join me there? And we're going to look when the second beast tell him to come and see. And we talked last, on this past Wednesday, there are eight different beasts. And if you study, if you paid attention on Wednesday night, there's eight beasts. There's four beasts assigned to the heaven. Those beasts, one have the appearance of a man, Another has the appearance of an eagle, a calf, and a lion. They are angelic beings. They are praising God. They are different from the beast that the dragon give power to. So if you paid attention on Wednesday, then you can follow me because the beasts in the earth realm are very destructive, very powerful. They have, they have an assignment. They have a task, and they have a work to do. Okay, 
So know the difference. There's, four, there's a, a total of eight beasts. Satan imitates what the kingdom of God does. Okay? Understand the four beasts around the throne, they are falling down and worshiping. But the, the beasts in the earth realm are destructive beasts. These are the beasts you don't want nothing to do, to do with. When they move, they will move and shut down your grocery store. You won't buy, sell, or trade. Revelation 13 give us these two beasts activities. And it shows when the first two beasts, Revelation 13 only give you two beasts. Daniel 7 give you four beasts, all four of them. And you'll see that it all come together. Again, I say this because it's time to learn, not be entertained. It's time that you know what you don't know and see what you have not seen, hear what you've not heard, and then get insight. Amen. It's sad to tell the Bible that you don't really understand. That's why we use the term, the acronym, DUMB. DUMB means I do not, I did not understand my Bible. I had no insight, comprehension to my Bible that I told all these years. Okay? So in verse 3, it says, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. The second beast who tell John to come and see. The beasts around the throne who've actually worshiped Christ and encouraged him to take the book, say he's worthy to take the book. One of those beasts is now talking to John who's there on the Isle of Patmos. And he want him to see, behold, observe. There went out another horse that was red. So to give us a color, this horse is red, okay? Symbolically speaking, to understand, it's a fiery, flamey color, an orange, reddish color horse. Horse, again, has an assignment. He has the ability to move the rider into position that he may do what he's assigned to do. It's like he's the power that gets this rider t- into position to move about in the four corners of the earth. So let's see, we understand the, ho- the horse is red, red horse. If you understand, Satan has a color that we've seen called the red dragon, is red, Revelation 12. There's also a woman who's sitting on the beast, Revelation 17, who has a r- scarlet color, which is the same color as an orange red. She's also on one of the beasts. This is symbols of things that we need to understand. So the day's objective is to understand that the red horse and the white horse and the black horse and the pale horse has a mission. They have an assignment. They have work to do. And I must report to you who own the power that they have. Our God. Our Lord is the creator of all things. Satan is not giving the power to the rider. Satan is not loosing the rider. Christ is loosing the riders. Okay? That's imperative to know. It's not the devil. It is actually the Lamb of God who's releasing every seal and giving the authorization that it go forward. Because this has to shut down. This has an end to it because God said it. Amen? Amen? So God's going to use all his creatures and the powers that he's given them. And I shared with you just recently how in Luke chapter 4, it says Satan was talking to Jesus. He said, all this power, he said, it was given me. So the power that he had came from God. If you're learning now. He had, there's no power without that. The Lord told uh, Pilate, I believe, Herod, it was Pilate, he said, you know, I have power to actually release you. Uh, and I have power to, to have you crucified. He said, you couldn't have no power except what was given you from above. So I want you to understand and learn, okay, not just told it, mean the Bible, and just quote it, but have insight to it. For the times we're in, things is hasting. We're in the, what, sixth day, in the second month, in a blink. Okay? So we don't have time to walk in the flesh. You don't have time to walk in carnality. 
You don't have time to keep leaving God out of your life. Because I'm going to show you the red horse in this year will move to another measure. The black horse will move to another measure. You can already see he's the black horse. Let me jump here right quick. The black horse is symbolic of famine and dearth, starvation, when there's lack. The stores is not as full. The meat market is not as full. Okay? Now, each horse has an assignment. So at this point, we see the horse is red. It says he have. It says, <clears throat> red, and power was given to him. Power, authority was given to him. Notice that. He didn't have it. It was given. Right? Are you learning this? Power, authority was given. Remember that Jesus gave his, his disciple power? Okay. Now, God is running everything now. Everything is being ran now. By the Lord. Jesus got out the grave and said, all power. It wasn't always like that. Until he came back and died and reclaimed as the son of God. The first son failed. Who had the power and dominion and the authority. And gave a place to the devil. Now everything has to be dealt with legally. Legally. That's why what you say, what you do, you don't give a place to the devil by even your speaking. Your words, your behavior. Okay? I always want you to understand, he didn't come down here and run as a renegade and say, demons, come out, give me this and shut up. He did it according to prophecy. So that's why you're going to understand. Now, Power was given to him that sat their own. Authority was given to him that sat their own to take peace. So when he moved into your standing place, where you're standing right now, when this spirit move in, he have the power, when he come in to your region or your territory, your community or your home, and when he come in, you don't want to be found without the Prince of Peace. Okay. Quick thinking, go with me in your mind. In your mind, go with me. Pharaoh had gotten a visitation from plagues. A west wind brought him in and an east wind took him out. There's spirits that God is using to do his bidding. And I'm going to show you this. That's why it's going to be important to be saved. Born again saved. Not play play saved. Born where your form, your character, your inward part is changed. He's made a new creature out of us. So the assignment of each horse, each horse has a work to do. The red horse can't do the work of the white horse. And the red horse can't do the work of the black horse. Every horse has his own particular assignment. So I gave, wanted you to think about Pharaoh because God let the spirit of death. God and death walk through the land. And God told death because God owns death. God told death where you see the blood. Don't touch it. So where the work of the white horse of the Prince of Peace is at, then the red horse can't touch it. Because where the Prince of Peace is at, all of us have a secret place and a hiding place. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the what? Most high. That's why you got to pay attention to the white horse, because the white horse gives you a secret place. The white horse is Christ. Not Antichrist. And I established that because I don't want us to be clear about Antichrist is anti against God. Okay? And he was shut down, he was destroyed, he'll speak against everything Christ and God. That's what he do. Okay. So he takes peace from the earth. Look out for that. Peace. Your soul, 
So when the Lord came into the world, it says goodwill before he got here, but he was coming through pregnancy. The angels came and said goodwill towards men and peace on earth. Now, notice the angel said that because peace had been taken before he was born. That's why Cain killed Abel. Because the red horse was back there dealing with Cain. And when peace is taken, there's havoc, there's war, there's fighting. Because the red horse wants to take peace from a relationship. I don't care if you're kin to them. Getting stories all the time here lately where this daughter killed her mama. That's doctrine, though. What we're going to see is an increase of all activity in the days ahead. So Satan hope you keep Rejecting, don't have time for it. The things of God and what he called you into. How many know you bought with a price you're not your own? I just want to, do you understand you've been blood bought? It's a danger when you've been blood bought and you act like you're your own. That's not good. (laughs) Because the red horse, all the horses are running. How many can tell that the white horse done kept you in a sacred place. Shadows of the Almighty. Okay. He says, take peace. So when he walk up on your standing ground and you're not in Christ, give it here. That's his mission. Where there's harmony, make there be some disharmony. Where there's rest, remove the rest. Remember, he says, take my yoke and learn of me, and you shall find rest for your. Because he know that he released the red horse. When did this happen? People thinking that this is going to happen. No, it's been happening. All the way back, if you study your Bible, Cain, God talked to Cain and told him to rule over it. So there's things in prophecy that you and I are ex- going to be experiencing because the mother is killing the children, or the daughter. And you see the young man in Texas who killed his girlfriend and killed the baby and throwed it in the water. And the mother of the daughter of the young lady that he killed, he, she said, you could have just given the child to someone. Yeah. But when the red horse take peace, and your war rise up, your rage rise up, it blinds you. So that's why you're going to have to have a prayer life. Fasting, I encourage you, every Tuesday we fast. Okay, that means you go past breakfast. You wake up in the morning, fast forward. <laughs> no breakfast. It's going to do you good. Fasting just means you humbling yourself before God, saying, I need you, help me. Because your mind, your soul going to need strength. It's going to become so bad, it says, men's hearts shall fail them. For the things they see coming up on the earth. That's why you're learning it's going to be important for you to be a learned people, not a dumb, didn't understand my Bible. Keys that you should understand how to use. You've been trying to bind the devil. You ain't bound them yet. Bind yourself to God and loose yourself from you and everything that's not of God. Okay? Now, His assignment, once he removed peace, say with me, my standing ground, my my region, region. territory, Territory. any place a human abide, he can be assigned this day to remove peace. 
Those who are married, how many know what it's like to have out of seven days harm, some rest and harmony all seven days? When you, especially when you first got married. We don't got this thing down packed now, but we had out of seven days, you might have got you one and a half. We had a good time yesterday, but the next day, who is this? <laughs> I never forget once at my mom's house, me and my brother started fighting. I don't know what we was fighting. I put my feet in his shoe and he choked me and he was trying to kill me. That red horse was there. <laughs> my mama ran outside and grabbed her head. She said she screamed so loud the neighborhood came. She said, y'all trying to kill me. <laughs> Havoc was in our house among the children. Okay, your students, I'm talking to you like your students, and I pray you get it. Children, y'all go to school? The red horse could be on that ground. You don't know who he's gotten into and took their peace. Now they want to take your life. But you don't want God? You don't want a secret place? The white horse is called the Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, wonderful counselor, mighty God. Prince of Peace, everlasting you, you put it together as students. Now, if you're going to be students, you're going to put what I'm telling you together. Because, Corbin, you don't know who don't like you because of the color of your skin. Because your hair is not as tight as theirs. Yours is a little smooth in your skin. You'd be surprised all this craziness going on. Yeah. If you got long hair, you got short, all kinds of, it's, it's the red horse. Okay. So he will remove peace. Peace, there'll be no tranquility. There's no rest. There's nothing enjoyable about your own standing ground. Now, that's just too much. You hate being in the house that you're in. You can't enjoy it. Okay? Christ couldn't have been crucified had not this red horse been there. We needed him to be there. I'm going to show you something in a minute. I don't know. We might just cut off shortly because I just want you to get it. It's so good to me. It's, it's kind of... I said, Lord, help me to understand this, because you're blowing my mind. He said, all power is my power. I use it. Mm -hmm. I let Nebuchadnezzar get him. I'm going to enjoy what's happening. God said, I'm going to let. Those that don't want me, I'm going to let. You don't want to pray? We got time for everything else. The doctor told me I couldn't fast because of my medicine. When then he wants you to take a test, he tell you to fast. That don't add up, dude. Go past breakfast. That's all. Breakfast, fast, pass. Go to 12 o'clock, see, and anoint your head and announce it and say, Lord, I'm humbling myself. It's spiritual. And you want to get into a fight? Until your next meal, watch your flesh and everything else try to get you to come and eat because it don't want you to humble yourself. Is it making sense? Okay. So once he takes peace from the earth, in addition to that, they should kill one another. Blood splatter, homicide, suicide, all of this has been happening on a whole other level. Okay. Again, when I did a chart, it just began to light up, splash, 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 because it was showing the number has increased. In the last two years, in the last year, the homicide rate keep increasing in counties, towns. One town had had no murders, and they was blown away when they had a murder to take place. So everything is increasing. You got a new year, you got a new number, more time for an increase. Okay? Darkness covered the earth, gross darkness the people. That's why gross darkness means that level of your imperfection will go to another measure. You don't want perfection, your imperfection will go to another level. Meaning, my malice is imperfection. Raise your hand as a student. Say, my malice of my human flesh can grow to another level. In the spirit, my love of God is which is the, the perfection can grow to, to the measure called the full measure. So you can grow in darkness 
or you can grow in the, in the light of God. Okay? But when he come through, he's going to work with what's in you. Okay? Why did Cain kill Abel? Why did this young man get so mad that he kills, shoot his girlfriend? He's so out of control, he takes his own child and throw it in the river. Right? This is an animal. Outside of God, it's called flesh. Flesh is animalistic. Don't say what it won't do. I'm not perfect, but don't stay in that condition. Come and learn about with his stripes, I am healed. Amen? And the chastisement of is on us. Isaiah 53 and 5, I believe. That word peace is just everywhere. But you can't get the peace if you don't want the lamb. You don't want salvation? You won't have peace. Not eternal peace. You'll have pleasure and enjoyment, but you won't have the divine peace. Divine peace is different from world peace. Okay? But the assignment class for the red horse, his task, his mission, his job, his duty, his position is to ride up on your standing ground. Give me that. And when he take it, don't say what they want. My child won't do. My husband won't do. My don't say because peace is gone from them. The kingdom of God consists of peace, joy, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. The red horse can't touch that except God let him come to me. Right? Y'all remember Job was his then? God can do what he wanted to do, right? Then God removed the hedge. And when he did, havoc. The sword came in. All right. We're good. We're learning. Next piece. Kill, I can't get, kill one another. Let me give you another example. Didn't David, child, want to kill David? So how long the red horse been free? When Adam sinned, Sin is a transgression that we are determined to practice against God. We are determined to do our flaws. When it came in, death had to follow. So there's been no rest since that time. I walk up on you, you don't know that there's either peace or there's war. You don't even know me. I saw a homeless lady laying, sitting down, and this lady's walking by, not bothering her. She jumps up and takes her fist and knock her down to the ground because of the red horse. See, your standing ground could be attacked at any time. That's why you're going to need to know a 9191, secret place of the Most High, and set your love upon him, not your mouth. A lot of us want to put our mouth up on it. Oh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. <laughs> Class, you're with me so far? Yes. Quick test. How many beasts is it? Eight. 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 How many is in heaven? Four. How many is it going to be in the earth? Four. What the ones in heaven doing? Worshiping. Worshiping. What the one in the earth doing? <laughs> Keeping you out of Walmart and you from buying gas. Vicious, mean, reckless, and blasphemous. So just study your Bible. I want you to learn, not dumb. We've been played with enough. And our communities are sad. Our homes are sad. Because we can't discern our left hand from our right. I hear, oh, what the world coming to? You ought to know if you read. I don't know what's going on with these children. Yes, you do. If you study your Bible, you know what's going on. Why my husband acting a fool? You ought to know. The red horse there. <laughs> but if you let the white horse in, he'll put an end to stuff. 
How many can tell the white horse? He conquered. He defeated that which was defeating you. He has a crown, which is a rank. He has a bull that is very powerful. Any questions, students? All right. Kill one another. Children, I want y'all to pay attention to the news. Every year around about this time, there's a school shooting. Between now and May, normally they try to, they try to get a massive shoot, school shooting. And I want you to pay attention. He used a lot of little innocent looking people that only look like the type. Right? And addition to that, and there was given unto him a great sword. I want you to be thinkers now. It gave us that the sword has a measure, but it didn't give a number. But all we know is huge. So that means he had more massive power to do things on a whole nother level because it didn't say he just had a sword. It says that he had a great so what I do when I study, I pick on every word because words have meaning because great mean not little, <laughs> small. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and piece gospel with this so you can... Uh, let, me, let me do this. Let's do Isaiah chapter 10, show you a piece. And when the Lord showed me, they couldn't arrest me if the white horse hadn't took peace from them. Because if they'd had peace there, they wouldn't have bothered me. <laughs> and they met at the preacher house. Isaiah, Old Testament, chapter 10. So when you're called to come to salvation, come to Jesus... He said, the day you hear my voice, harden out your heart. I understand that even better now. I'm going to step down to verse 5. But if you read, start at 1, you're going to see there's, when there's wickedness and things like that happen, well, let, let me start at verse 1. If I don't go no further today, I think I've done well to give you something to think on. Amen. Okay. I notice Jesus just speaking pieces. His, his, a lot of his teaching ended with a period. But it's, it was so much there you needed to understand. He says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. The white horse, the red horse going to get you. And what will you do in the day of visitation and the desolation which shall come from what? Far. To whom will you flee for help? And where will you leave your glory? <laughs> huh? The thing you've been bragging about? The thing that you think so much of? The thing that you honor? The thing you stop and take time for? What I ask you to stop, you won't stop? Where are you going to leave your glory? Because you stop for your glory. You stop for what you want. All right? Now, you go back and study this. You know, it's in me because I've, 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 I've combed it. But it's deafness here. He said, without me, they shall under, you know, a prison. He said, you're going to be among them. And they shall fall under the slain. You're going to be among the dead, those who got killed. Y'all see tornadoes, and it's not the same tornadoes. They go from being 
maybe, what, a good 50 feet or 100 feet wide to now miles wide? They go from jumping down and going up to staying down on the ground for 200 some miles. Can you not discern the times we're in? What storm is going to be here in June? Do you have a 9191, a 912? Songs that is. Do you have the shadows of the Almighty? Children, people, families, friends. Keep leaving God out of your business. Keep telling God no and everybody else your glory. Take <laughs> glory. That's my glory. <laughs> glory heard me call glory. <laughs> okay. It says, uh, glory paying attention. <laughs> it says, without me they shall bow down. Under prisons, under, okay, and they shall fall under slain. That means kill. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand stretched out still. Now, God uses these horses to do his bidding. O Syrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff in their hand is my Oh, that's my indignation. I'm using that to come after you. Since you want to deal in the way of treacherousness, then I'm, I'm going to deal with you. That's what he's simply saying. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. So the red horse can go against who? Brother Curl, you want to be a hypocrite? You want to be... And they were talking about some of the pastors over in Africa the other day. This guy went to the commission. He said they the man of God in the day. But he's the priest of the devil at night. Oh. Talking about what they do with the water and washing people's feet. The witchcraft and voodoo. So when they touch you, before you know it, your mind is under their control. That's why you better stop being church dumb. And they'll tell you things about you. And you church dumb because you don't understand your Bible. <gasps> Man of God. And they call him Papa. Papa. That's Papa. Papa, Papa. Yeah. Okay. Students, any questions? Yes. I have a question. Okay. Amen. Thank you, sis. It's time. It's time for a good understanding. He says, I will send him, I will send him against an hypocritical nation. A hypocrite, you act like you love me. You act like we're in a relationship. You act like you worship me. I'm going to send him against you because you're playing with me. And against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. And what is charge going to be? Take the spoil, take the prey, and take and to shred them down like the mark of the street. Okay, I'm going to stop here.
in this piece. And again, if you go back and comb, because it's nothing that just popping on the scene, what it's doing is going to its next measure. God has been patient. God has been long-suffering. And you need all the grace of God on you. Okay? Now, the sword is called a, what kind of sword that the red horse has? Okay. So the ability of what this horse have the power to do once it stand on your land. What it will do. What it can do. When God don't see you as his own. Or when God see that you have played. Let's use, for example, David knew right. Yes. David the king knew right. Yes. And did wrong. A sword, Jude, I believe, a red sword, uh -huh. a red horse came to his house. Yes. Didn't it? Yeah. We call it red because his son killed his son. His son wanted to kill him. Well, didn't David write a letter for Uriah to die? You gave a place to the devil. Now I count you an adversary. The sword never. So this is for you to see and understand and learn because what today, even today, it says take no thought for tomorrow. For today has his own evil. Amen? I must show you one more, and we're going to stop, because I want this to just stay in your mind, because I want you to understand how the kingdom of God is set up. He says, it's going to come to an end, and I came to point you to my father's house. I come to say, come unto me, all you that lay in heaven, lay, I give, point you to my father's house. Okay? In my father's house, there are many mansions. I'm trying to point from the, whoever's breathing my breath of life, physical breath, then I would love to have you at my father's house in eternity. Where there'll be no more death. There'll be no more pain. There'll be no more sorrow. Come join me and my father at his house. But you want your glory more than you want the one who the glory belonged to. So God help us. No one is exempt. Let's visit Matthew Gospel chapter 26, verse 3, and then we'll calm down that same chapter, and we'll take it a little further and to see how even in the church, even with the religious people. Matthew chapter 3. I'm sorry, 26, 3. I'm glad y'all listening, though. And I ask you not to believe me, but I ask you to go study your Bible because once I give you information, it's on you. You can let the devil steal your time and steal it. What did he say? You better write it down. You better study. Amen. How can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach himself? He be sent. Two important pieces. If I have not been sent, I don't even have the authorization to get up and talk to you. And I ought to be quiet because the devil going to use me because I have not been sent to you. So my feet is not shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I'm trying to get you some prosperity without peace. And that's what a lot of people want. We want the world and the things of the world, but you don't want the kingdom of God. It says seek the kingdom of God first. When the first thing, when a preacher, all you want to do is get you on houses and land and money and all your blessing coming. And my soul is required tonight. Matthew 26 and 3. Then assembled together the who? And who? The scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace. Y'all thought them 
them guys, was, you see big time rich preachers now, they had them back then. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> the priest got a palace. Yeah. <laughs> they gather at the priest's palace. It's a palace, right? Yeah. Uh, out of court. Somebody call that court. Well, he got a court you for everybody to meet at. Do you have a courtyard? <laughs> now, Satan have children too. And what have happened in this piece, the red horse, Sister Loma, have taken peace from the priest. So it's going to be the priest that go after Jesus. <laughs> Making sense? Read again. They got together, they assembled, they rallied together, said together the chief priests. And the scribe, these are people who quote the Bible, quote the Bible. They know the Bible. They know the scriptures. And the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest who were called Caiaphas and consulted that they might take Jesus by subtlety, snakes, and kill him. Phyllis, this has happened because the red horse and took their peace. And that's why you want, we want to stay fast and <laughs> Peace. You welcome God's kingdom. Every morning you say, Thy kingdom come. Your rule and your reign. You ask him for God's peace to come. Did you know that? When you find havoc in a house, in a relationship, don't underestimate the flesh and that red horse. Because once he, relieved, he moved that peace, if there's a knife in the house, a gun in the house, or whatever in the house, don't underestimate the flesh. Okay? The intention is kill him, right? Is not, not the work when the horse take their peace. So Jesus, who released the horse, is the reason why the horse is there. Because Jesus come to save us from the destruction that's coming because we got to close this down. So he can bring his kingdom. He tells them, James, at the he says, if this was my kingdom, I would fight for it. This is not his kingdom. This is Satan's kingdom. That's why you got to understand the four beasts. Tyranny is four beasts that Satan will use to attack. That's why you and I are going to need a secret place and a hiding place. Brothers and sisters and friends, let's get along with each other. If you're fighting among each other, just say, look, it's the red horse here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bust your brains out, I'm going to shoot you, and I'll slap you to the ground, all that crazy stuff. The red horse is at your house. My dad said to my mom, he said, I'll start killing you or finish me to beg. You beg me, you beg me to finish killing you. The red horse was at our house, wasn't it? it? Yeah. We had an abnormal, dysfunctional, Okay. Giving you knowledge so you make sense, not emotions. I don't want you jumping and hollering. I want you to listen. You know, hollered enough and we're still dumb. As we conclude, let's stop and park at verse 57. Same chapter. Let's start at 55 and right now. 55, Matthew chapter 26, verse 55. Learning, students, learn. Learn of me. Learn your Bible. And I pray that you understand Revelation is a book of past, present, and future. A lot of things that already happened. Some things that is going to be happening. Okay? And the black horse, when we get to that rascal. Hmm. You need to understand the black horse. It don't matter, Kathy, as long as you got a 911 song. Because God will make a bird feed you. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's right. A dirty bird, an unclean bird was feeding him. I don't care as long as I get some food. But I want to be counted worthy to get some food. See, that's why your position with the white horse, Emmanuel. 
the, the, the Christ is going to be important. They used to sing a song, Lord will make a way somehow. Yes. He will. 55, in that same hour said Jesus to the multitude, are ye come out against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophet might be fulfilled. Then all his disciples forsook him and fled. It was havoc. It was war. It was, they knew their life was in danger. They left him. Paul said, gird up the lungs of your mind and think sober. Be sober. Get off your drunk. You got time for everything else except the things of God. Your little heart will, I'm a scary joker when it comes down to roaches. I'm just, that's the only plague I need. Just give me some roaches and I'll just have a heart attack on them. I'll fight a rat and a snake. A roach will make me scream like a woman. Ah! See, we got our little weakness. Everybody got their little weakness. But all his was done that the scriptures, you're dealing with scriptures, saints, might be fulfilled, completed, or perfected. Every jot and tittle of his word has to come to pass. That's why you got to study. Javon, I want you studying. Studying. Different between reading. Studying. And verse 57 says, and they laid hold on Jesus and led him Away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders was assembled. They waiting on him. Now, we're not talking about heathens in the world. We're talking about the people, talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Father Abraham. We're talking about folks dressed like believers, talk like believers, quote the scriptures. Right? But there was hypocrites. That's why I tell you, don't believe me. Study what I say. And know what man of life a person lived that's talking to you. But Peter followed him afar off in the high priest's palace and went and sat with the servant to see the end. Now the chief priests and the elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to do the work of the red horse. Is it making sense to you? At least, is it making sense to you? Okay. The red horse is like a spirit that has been positioned by Christ. Now, the princes of the world don't realize what's going on. If they knew it, they would stop it. But God's going to use all this to shut down because, see, everybody don't want him. So what to do? He come and preach his kingdom and say, come to me. At this acceptable time, this is called the acceptable year of the Lord, where I'll be pleased to hear from you and receive you. But the time is going to come when an angel is going to take his feet and put it on the earth and on the sea and tell the Lord, time no longer. Cut the time. And when he do, the church, you want to be ready to go because the show ain't over. You're going to have three and a half years of trouble ain't never been seen before. And we are not too far from many things. Amen? So, students, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having a mind to learn. Um, your prayer life is powerful. If, if I can couple you to encourage you to read 91 when you think about this, because 91, it, all it is really talking about people don't set their love upon him. If you put your love on him, who is the white horse, who will conquer anything, that's why he called you more than a conqueror. Because all of your battles have already been won. Makes sense to you. All right? Get a lot of hand clap, please.